My name is Carrie Belante. I work in the Salt Lake City School District with students who have severe disabilities uh, that are 18 to 22 years old. Uh, we are working on transition um, type skills, vocational skills, leader skills, uh, everything to prepare them for their future. The ultimate goal for me as a transition teacher is to set up families and students with resources that they can reach out to once their special education services have ended. Um, in Salt Lake City, students uh, exit special ed services at the age of 22, and I wanna make sure students and families feel comfortable when the teacher and the school is no longer around for them to uh, reach out to jobs, um, develop community resources and um, have a community outside of the school. When developing uh, work sites for the transition program, it's been really nice to um, learn the students' interests and their abilities uh, before going out to develop those work sites so that when we are bringing students to these places, it's things that they want to do, um, things that they're interested in, goes along with their skill base, and it's a more appropriate environment for them to develop works, work skills. So. I have a student or I had a student that graduated last year and he loved to deliver things and I was trying to think about what, where could we go or what could we do for him to be able to use his skills of delivering. Um, he was nonverbal, didn't want to necessarily be in one place for a long time because of behavior issues, but he loved giving people things. So I thought, why don't we reach out to a flower shop and see if they would donate flowers to us and we now have a partnership with the flower shop and they are donating flowers once a week and we are able to pick them up at the warehouse and bring them to a senior living center and giving the flowers to the, the seniors at the center. So it's been really uh, a good job for the specific student that he had, he had limited skills, low skills, but this is something that he really enjoyed doing and um, worked out very well for him. <laughs> the most successful part uh, about working with a team of community groups and resources for us is that we meet face-to-face -face one time a month and we are able to build relationships with these uh, community agencies and um, there it brings the communication together and we feel comfortable reaching out if we have questions. Um, we feel more comfortable uh, giving the parents their information and saying that these people are going to do a good job and follow through with uh, what needs to be done for the student for best outcomes.